I can promise you now I am not naked. I am wearing a top. This is from Misguided. Um, and I have my tea right here because I just love tea so much. Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, look at all of this. Look at all of this makeup. So to give you a backstory, all of the makeup that I picked up in today's video was from the cosmetic company store outlet. So you can find these outlets usually um, across America and also in the UK as well. There's a few in the UK. I will have a few of them listed below or just a link to their website so you can find your store location. The cosmetic company outlet is basically a Estee Lauder company. So they sell everything that's under Estee Lauder. So they sell Mac, they sell Bobbi Brown, Smashbox, Tom Ford, Clinique, um, a bunch of brands that are underneath Estee Lauder and it's all at discounted prices. So everything is on clearance, everything is cheap. And I just happen to have a cosmetic company outlet uh, very close to where I live actually. So I'm very lucky uh, to find um, some high-end products for cheap prices. Of course, these products are discontinued. You're not gonna find a huge range. That is where I got everything in today's video. I also have some elf stuff, which is really random, that I wanted to include uh, brand new elf stuff. So their putty eye primer, their little bite-sized shadows. Enough rambling, let's jump straight into it and I'll show you guys what I got from the cosmetic company out there. So the first thing I picked up was the Smashbox Primer Water and I'm so late on this. I know everyone has it. This was originally 22 pounds and I got it for 16 pounds right here. So as you can see, it is discounted. Sometimes they're not discounted that much. Sometimes they're discounted a lot. Can't wait to try this out. I've heard so many good things about it and that's the first thing I got. Next, I got the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. So I was super excited to see foundations in my color at this outlet. So um, it doesn't have the price on it for some reason, but I will have it on the screen um, when I look at my receipt. But it's the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation with SPF 15 and I got it in the shade Sand Number no. 2. I can't wait to try it because I don't have a lot of uh, foundations. So I did buy quite a few foundations in today's video from this store. Next, I picked up the Estee Lauder. They do have Estee Lauder there, of course. The Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Concealer. And I hear no one talking about this. So again, this was, why is there no prices on anything? I will have the receipt as well on the prices, but this is in 1W Light. And this is what it looks like. So, yeah, I cannot wait to play around with this concealer. You know, I'm a huge MAC girl. There is no other brand that I love in this world as much as I do MAC. So I picked up a MAC eyeshadow that was £5.25. Okay, it was £5. Like, what? They're usually £15, so that is uh, more than 50% off. This is in the shade Yogurt, and I think I already have it. Picked up another Yogurt in case, you know, I don't know if I have it, but... I have so many MAC products, I don't even know what I have and what I don't have. So I told you guys I picked up another foundation. This is the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. And I've never tried their foundation sticks. I'm so late to the party again. Um, yeah, Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. So this is in the shade Ivory 0 0.75. Neutral toned foundation. It was originally 32 pounds and I got it for 23 pounds. So 23 pounds. For Bobbi Brown foundation is amazing. This is the MAC Amplified Cream Lipstick. This is in the shade Leave Me Breathless. This is a very neutral beige nude. No pink, no peach, it's just straight up like beige. And yeah, I can't wait to try it. Love the Amplified Cream formula. It's very creamy, very pigmented, high coverage. All that good stuff. So I did buy some skincare as well because they do have, of course, skincare. So Origins is under Estee Lauder. So I picked up the Ginseng Ultra Hydrating Energy Boosting Cream. And this doesn't have the price, which is so frustrating, but I will find out. And um, brand new look at this thick, thick with a double C moisturizer. Can't wait to try it. Um, I love their three part harmony moisturizer. It's one of my favorites. So I can't wait to try that one. And then also from Origins, I picked up their Make a Difference Rejuvenating Treatment Lotion. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no idea what this is, but I'm guessing it's like a toner or 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's a toner. And this is, um, this was £26 and it was £19. So there wasn't much um, price difference in that, but yeah, I decided to pick it up anyway. Another foundation, Smashbox. A Smashbox foundation. I'm so excited about this one. This is the Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This is in the shade 0 0.2. It says skin tone very fair and undertone warm peach. I think I got the wrong shade because I'm not that fair. I mean, I am, but I would consider my skin tone within the light range, not very fair. And this says warm peach undertone, which I like a yellow undertone. So I actually think I probably have the wrong shade and wrong undertone. I'm going to have to try it out in a video and see. It's very peachy. See how I like it. If not, I can give it away to someone. Oh, the price was £29.50 originally, and it's £21 in the outlet store. And you guys can see the labels, they all look like that. Okay, next, this isn't um, something that I got from the store. This is actually a recent purchase that I bought online, but I wanted to include it in the video. It is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish from the Chinese New Year collection, and it is in Double Gleam. It's a highlighter but I wanted to show you the packaging. So not only is it so beautiful on the outside, but the inside ah, is a dragon. What? Look at this. Look at this. Of course, for a collector's piece, I collect limited edition MAC products, so I won't be using it. It's gonna go just to sip in my collection and look at. So next, I decided to pick up a Clinique moisturizer. It's, I think like a travel size. I actually don't know, but this is the Pep Start Moisturizer and it was originally seven pounds and it was reduced to five pounds. So I'm assuming it's like a travel size, but five pounds for Clinique, you know, I just couldn't resist. So um, it's this cute little jar, look at that. When you finish the moisturizer, you could feel your own moisturizer like any brand in this little pot and just take this around. I picked up the Origins Best Sellers Skincare Set. So this is a travel size version and it comes with this cute little Origins bag. Love it, um, good for traveling. And this was originally 30 pounds and it was reduced to 21. So it basically has Origins Best Sellers, Best Seller Products, Anti-Aging Power Serum, their Ginseng Gel Moisturizer, and then the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Treatment Lotion. I have no idea what that is. And then the Checks and Balance uh, Frothy Face Wash. So it's a face wash. And then the Charcoal Mask. So I cannot wait to try this out. Um, I'm slowly getting into more skincare as I'm getting older and I'm starting to break out. So uh, I cannot wait to try this and hopefully it doesn't make my skin worse. I picked up another MAC lipstick. This is the Powder Kiss lipstick, originally £17.50 and it reduced to £13. So this is in the shade Inf Influentially It. And I love the Powder Kiss lipsticks. It's so different. Um, it's a soft matte texture, but it's not creamy. It's, it's literally like a powder velvet on the lips. And you can even see by the way it looks. Let me show you the color. It's just that, I guess, yeah, brown nude. Another Clinique moisturizer, and then I think that is it for skincare, and then we'll jump straight into the e.l.f. stuff. This is the Moisture Surge uh, moisturizer, and I know everyone knows about this, the just Clinique Moisture, uh, moisture Surge moisturizer. I, I can't talk and I really can't wait to use this. Again, I just wanted to mainly use this um, as a base for my foundation. This was originally 25 pounds and it was on sale for 18 pounds. So everything else in here now is e.l.f. So my next videos are going to be uh, testing new e.l.f. products, so stay tuned for that. So the first thing I picked up from their website was the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. This is brand new. I cannot wait to do a whole video on this primer. I haven't used, I haven't used it yet. And it is in the shade Cream. So it's supposed to be like the MAC paint pots and I just can't wait to use it. Okay, so next I picked up their bite size eyeshadows. This is the main reason why I made this online purchase, three pounds only. And I, I went crazy. I should have picked up all the shades, but I only picked up three. So I picked up Truffles, 
And of course, I'll be doing a whole separate video uh, testing these eyeshadows as well and the colors. And then I picked up Cream and Sugar. So that one is Cream and Sugar right there. And last but not least, Carnival Candy, which is a nice neutral palette, but it has a pop of blue. So I love that one. I then just picked up some random things. Um, so I picked up the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer in sheer. So then I also picked up the uh, Volumizing and Defining Mascara. So I just wanted to get another mascara from e.l.f. Then I picked up, I'm also gonna do a video on this. So as you can see, a lot of new e.l.f. videos um, that's gonna be put to the test. This is their Liquid Glitter Shadow. This is brand new. I'm going to compare it to the Stila one on my eyes. So stay tuned for that video. This is in the shade Flirty Birdie. So it's a copper rose liquid glitter. And then these two products were free. Um, if you spend over 25 pounds, you get two free products to choose from. So I picked up the HD Lifting Concealer in Fair. And I can't wait to try that. And then the Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Coffee, which is a nice deep brown. And I love brown eyeliners, especially if you have brown eyes. As you can tell, I have very dark brown eyes. So brown eyeliner makes brown eyes pop. I repeat, Use brown eyeliner for brown eyes. That was everything in this video that I wanted to share with you and I hope you guys found it helpful and let me know down below if you've ever been to the cosmetic company store outlet. It's definitely worth the trip because you can find high-end products for cheap. I do think you can find some good deals and especially if you're looking for a discontinued product, then you can probably find it there because all of the discontinued products uh, go to this store. That is it for me and I hope you guys stay tuned for my upcoming videos. So I hope you guys are doing well and loving 2020 so far. I know it's been a hectic start to the year so far with everything going on in the world, but let's hope it changes. So I'm gonna go now and I will speak to you guys all in my next video. Thank you.